Hello everyone. This is Aditya Kavade from iambiomed.com. This is a video on the basics of MRI. This is going to be a non-technical video which will cover the components in the MRI system, the MRI scanning steps and also the applications where the MRI is used. The CT scan and MRI are often mistaken to be the same thing. It is quite natural to be confused between the two because the machines look very similar. However, there is substantial difference between the MRI and CT scan. A major difference is that CT scan uses radiation while MRI scanner doesn't. MRI uses magnets. CT scan is usually cheaper. MRI is ideal for the diagnosis of the conditions in tissues or ligaments. The CT scan is ideal for any type of skeletal injuries. If there are both injuries in head, spine or chest, CT scan is the best way to identify this problem. MRI is an acronym for the magnetic resonance imaging. MRI is a diagnostic test that can be used to find or evaluate various parts of the anatomy. It allows the clinicians to see high quality images of inside the body. This is how MRI machine looks like. The MRI machine looks like a large block with a tube running through the middle called a bore of the magnet. The bore is where the patient is located during the scan. The MRI components are superconducting magnet, radiant magnet, coils, computer system and patient table. Now let us discuss about the components and details. First is superconducting magnet. Most of the MRI systems use a superconducting magnet which consists of many coils or windings of wire through which a current of electricity is passed creating a field up to 2 tesla. The superconducting magnets are large magnets that takes most of the space in the MRI machine. It creates a powerful magnetic field. The strength of the superconducting magnet is from 5000 to 20000. There are three gradient magnets in the MRI machine. These are much lower strength compared to the main magnetic field. While the main magnet creates an intense stable magnetic field around the patient, the gradient magnets create a variable field which allows different parts of the body to be scanned. They may range in strength from 180 Gauss to 270 Gauss. The another part of MRI system is a set of coils that transmit radio frequency waves into the patient's body. There are different coils of different body parts. The next are the computer system and the patient table. The computer system generates images from the data collected during the scan. The patient table is where the patient lies during the scan. It slides the patient into the bore. So here are the MRI components. The superconducting magnet, gradient magnets, coil, patient table and computer system. Now let us discuss about the MRI scanning steps. First the patient reclines on the table and is moved into the MRI machine. The patient is then moved into the active magnetic field. The hydrogen atoms within the patient's body align in response to this magnetic field. And the radio frequency pulse is then directed through the coils into the body part which are being scanned. The radio frequency causes the protons in certain hydrogen atoms to spin at a specific frequency. The gradient magnets then alter the magnetic field which allows the machine to scan very precisely the sections of the body. The radio frequency pulse is then turned off causing the hydrogen protons to release the absorbed energy. The coils detect the energy released and sends the data to the computer which generates the MRI images. So here are the steps which are performed during the scanning. The applications of MRI. The MRIs of the heart can be done to look at many different areas including the vessels, chambers and valves. The MRI can be done to detect the problems associated with different heart diseases and blockages in the blood vessels. The MRIs of the brain can also be done to evaluate how the brain is working, whether it's normal or abnormal and to show the damages resulting from different problems. MRIs can also be done on the knees to evaluate damage to ligaments and tendons. 
This is how MRI brain scan results looks like. Thank you very much for watching this video. Subscribe to our channel and visit our website www.imbiomed.com.